Hello everyone, my name is Anitsu, and I'm back with another Buddy Fight deck profile. Today I'm going to be looking at Max Dragons, which is one of the many decks that got updated in Glory Valiant, and it's actually looking to be a really strong update, and the deck is looking really, really powerful. As far as what Max Dragons is doing, the basic gimmick of Max Dragons is like an evolution mechanic. So you have the original Zeberos, so Damalord Zeberos, and the whole idea is to basically evolve him and make him even more powerful than he was before. And he generally likes to play alone, so having other monsters isn't really a thing he just does. So as far as what the new cards are doing for Zeberos is the new Zeberos is another discard Zeberos, and he basically is a tutor for a set spell or the item from our deck or drop zone, which is really, really good because now we could utilize our drop zone because sometimes things just end up in our drop zone. And then on top of that, when this card is in the drop zone, all Max Dragon cards on the field get plus 10,000 power and plus 10,000 defense and plus one crit. And what's really good about this card is the fact that he stacks. So obviously running as many of him as possible will make your Zeberoses very, very big very, very quickly, on top of them already being really, really big. So he's just a very, very powerful card and an easy auto-include in the deck. And then next we have one of the new spells which is uh, Lord Break, Lord Imperial Impact. What the card does is you can only cast it if there are three or more different Max Dragons in your drop zone. You're going to have a couple of different ones as Zeberos evolves. And then you can counter call up to one Max Dragon monster from your drop zone without paying its uh, call cost, and then you can only use it once per turn. So this is really, really powerful because it allows you to not only kind of cheat out your size sixes, but you can also swap in between your size sixes for a little bit of extra utility there. So it's just a very, very solid card. And the next they have a new set spell, Lord's Intimidation. The power and defense and crit of your max dragons can't be reduced by your opponent's card effects. Now debuffs don't necessarily work on Zeberos. And then it has an act ability where you could put up to one Max Dragon monster from your deck into your drop zone, shuffle your deck, and this ability can only be used once per turn. And then lastly, they got a new item, and oh boy, this item is uh, really, really good. So you can only equip this if you have a monster with Zeberos in your name on your field, and then you pay one gauge, pay one life, and then... This card can attack even if there is a Max Dragon in your center. Fairly standard. And then its ability. Unrivaled Riding Brave. If you only have one monster on your field, this card's power gets plus 10,000, and its crit gets plus 2, and uh, this card on your field can't be destroyed or leave the field by your opponent's card effects. And then it has Penetrate and Double Attack. So this thing is uh, basically... An 18,005 crit that is just going to be very, very hard to deal with because it can't leave the field. And then as far as the rest of the deck, you're just going to be utilizing your normal Zeberos package where you're going to have a little bit of the size 4, size 5, and then one of each of the size 6s just for utility's sake. And just to have a different name Zeberos in your drop just in case. And then the rest of the package is just relatively simple. You're going to be running the spell null. Obviously, you're going to be running the set spells. And then you're just very standard ancient world like combo of spells, which is uh, Dragon Emperor Legend and Divine Dragon Creation. And then Grace of the Sun Deity just for good measure. So it's, for the most part, a relatively straightforward deck, but it's still looking to be very, very powerful thanks to all of the new cards that it got. And man, is it looking really, really strong. But as always, there's a whole bunch of other cards that you could run that are still very, very good with the deck. So you could run like Time Observer Oct, you could run a whole bunch of different other spells like Soaring Dragon, Fair Skylines. You could even run Lost World because the size six Zeberos is a 
One of them is a Lost Vader, so you might be able to have some Lost Vader synergies there, on top of which Lost World has some really, really powerful cards. So there's just still a whole bunch of stuff you could do with the deck. It's not a deck that's exactly written in stone, but it's still a very straightforward and very strong deck nonetheless. That's kind of it for Zeberos and Max Dragons. Glory Valiant is looking like it's going to be a really strong set that gives a lot of additional power to all of the Season 1 Ace decks. But as always, I'll have the deck list in the description below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about the deck or just want to leave a comment in general. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Buddy Fight content, and I will see you in the next video.